This is a poem that Dad read to me about a million times when I was a kid, and given the ending, it seems appropriate for 2020. The lookout wasn't brilliant for the Mudville Nine that day. The score stood four to two, but with an inning left to play. And so when Cooney died at first and Barrows did the same, a sickly silence fell on the patrons of the game. A straggling few got up to go. In deep despair, the rest clung to the hope that springs eternal within the human breast. They thought, if only Casey could get a whack at that. We'd put up even money now with Casey at the bat. But Flynn preceded Casey, and so did Jimmy Blake. The former was a pudding, the latter was a fake. So upon the stricken multitude, grim melancholy sat, and it seemed the little chance of Casey getting to the bat. But Flynn let drive a single to the wonderment of all, and Jimmy, though much despised, tore the cover off the ball. So when the dust had lifted and they saw what had occurred, there was Jimmy safe on second and Flynn hugging third. Then, then from 5,000 throats and more, there rose a lusty yell. It rumbled through the valley, it rattled in the dell, it pounded o'er the mountains, and it rolled across the flat. Casey, mighty Casey, was advancing to the bat. There was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride in Casey's bearing and a smile at Casey's face. And when, responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat, no stranger in the crowd could doubt, Twas Casey at the bat. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded as he wiped them on his shirt. Then while the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, defiance flashed in Casey's eyes. A sneer curled Casey's lips. And now the leather-covered spear came hurling through the air, and Casey stood a-watching it in haughty grandeur there. Close by the sturdy baseman, the ball unheeded sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire said. From the benches, dark with people, there went up a muffled roar, like the beating of the storm waves on the stern and distant shore. Kill him! Kill the umpire! shouted someone in the stands and it's likely they had have killed him had not Casey raised his hands. With a smile of Christian charity, great Casey's visage shone. He stilled the rising tumult. He bade the game go on. He signaled to the pitcher, and once more the spheroid flew. But Casey stood watching, and the umpire said, Strike two. Fraud, cried the maddened thousands, and the echo answered, Fraud! But one scornful look from Casey, and the audience was awed. They saw his face go stern and cold. They saw his muscles strain, and they knew Casey wouldn't let the ball go by again. The sneer is gone from Casey's lips. His teeth are clenched in hate. He pounds with cruel violence his bat upon the plate. And when the pitcher holds the ball, and then he lets it go, and now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow. Oh, somewhere in this favored land, the sun is shining bright, the bands are playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. Not really. Somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout, but there is no joy in Mudville, for Casey has struck out. <laughs>